Hey, Clayton Bates here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to bulk edit all the information for your products in your Shopify website. There's also a cool new feature that Shopify added, which I'm so happy about. But before I get into that, I'm actually a registered and authenticated Shopify expert registered by Shopify. Not that many people are Shopify experts and hardly anyone on YouTube is actually a Shopify expert registered by Shopify. And the websites my agency and Inspire Small Business have built have generated over $100 million in sales through the websites we've actually built. So that being said, let's get into it. So if you're in the back end of Shopify and you click products here, all your products will come here. Now, there's actually two ways to bulk edit your products. You can actually export all the information into an Excel file and then update them on Excel. If you want to know how to do that, let me know and I might make a video on actually how to do that. The reason I normally don't like to do that through Excel because you have to think about the type of people that would want to do it through Excel. Most likely, if you're watching this video and you have tens of thousands of products, it makes sense to do it through Excel. The issue that I have is that my old website had 10,000 products and I updated I updated them all through Excel and it corrupted hundreds and hundreds of, of thousands of my product descriptions because so much data was getting transferred back into Shopify. So I don't blame Shopify. I blame that I tried to bulk edit like 10,000 products at once. So I actually don't recommend doing it that way. I recommend doing it the way I'm going to show you. But like I said, if you want to know how to do that, let me know in the comments. So if you come into here, you can select the ones you want to edit like this or you can select everything so if you click this button it will select everything the other thing you can do as well is let's say you have 100 products you only want to bulk edit 30 you can actually go here to search and then search by tag or status so if you only want to do the active ones you can click active and it'll show just the active ones and then you can select this button here once you select that you want to click bulk edit and it's going to bring up all the information here. Now, if you go over here to columns, you can actually select what you want to edit. So you can select like this. This is a cool thing that I'm so happy about description. So you used to never be able to update the description through the bulk editor, but now you can. Trust me, if you have lots of products, this is a game changer. And I'm going to just explain a quick little tip here. If you have lots of, of products and you're adding certain text into the description, so let's just say uh, free shipping over $100 or stuff like that, I recommend you don't do that if you have lots of products. The reason why is imagine this situation comes up. You have 50,000 products. You've added a sentence into 50,000 descriptions and then you want to change it. You're going to have to individually go through 50,000 products or you're going to come come here and go through 50,000 uh, product descriptions, changing them. What I normally recommend is you add a meta field uh, through Shopify that can be dynamic uh, where you can put it on different products. I can teach you how to do that if enough people leave a comment in the description. Um, but yeah, things that might change in the future, I wouldn't add in the product descriptions. I'll do them all dynamically because... Trust me when I say this, many, many people have come to our agency with over 10,000 products and they've been adding stuff for years that they want to change and they have to go back and do something like this. It's a very daunting task and it's just something I don't recommend. But yeah, basically all these sections here, you can change whatever you want, the, the weight, uh, the SEO stuff like page title, all different things, skew the price. So this is a good thing, price as well. So if you want to put a lot of things on sale, stuff like that. Um, but what I'll do is maybe I'll just get into the product description first, then do a couple others, but you can just, you can tick or untick them and they'll be here like this. So for the description, you click here, the description opens up. This is very similar to a Word document, how this works. And the good thing about this is, let's just say you did add free shipping on orders over $100 on 100 products. You could change the text on one, copy it, and then just go through each one and paste in the new new thing. Or you could remove it, do that thing that I was saying with the meta fields and stuff. You can add a meta field in that, um, but I can teach you how to do that. And then you press save. 
What I recommend when you're in here, don't make more than 20 or 30 adjustments without pressing save. Because what happens sometimes is if you come in here and make 200 adjustments and then press save, uh, many different things can happen. So what if your internet uh, messes up? What if it messes up when you press save? Stuff like that. You don't want to sit here and go through and do 200 adjustments again. So that's why just get in a good habit, especially if you have a lot of products, which probably most people watching this video have a lot of products. Just get in a good habit of every about 20 adjustments, press save or something like that. Then other things that you might want to change would be maybe the tags, the status. So if they're active or whatever, so you can change them to to archive or, or draft if you want to get rid of them. If you want to add more tags, you can here. Just when you add tags, just make sure you press hyphen. Oh, no, sorry. It's changed now. You can just press add or you can click the, the ones here. So you can do that. Uh, another one that might be good to change is product type, vendor, template, maybe, depends. But for product type, you can go through and change all the product types here. So let's just say you wanted to change all of these to t-shirts. What I'm going to do is copy this. And then you just go down, paste, paste paste, save. Now that's why an X, doing it on Excel would make more sense because you just copy it and paste it for like a hundred. But like I said, if enough people want me to make a video about that, I will. Um, but I personally would rather do it like this. Then you can change the vendor. So the brand and stuff, you can change the template. If you've got multiple templates, another good one might be uh, price. So based on price, compare at price, charging tax. So a lot of that, uh, charges for tax. A lot of people have to update that. So let's do all the pricing. So let's just say you wanted to go through and change all the pricing of your website. You wanted to put some stuff on sale. You want to take stuff off sale. This way would be a good way to do that. So let's just say we don't want to have this product on sale anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it back to the normal price. So the normal price is $29.95. And then we can just go through and paste it in here. I'm doing control V by the, by the, just so you know as well, like that. And then we just remove the, the compare at price here. So this, this product is actually going to be not on sale anymore. And then press save. You can also update the cost per, per item, um, different things like that. Uh, charges tax. So sometimes people, if they have a lot of products, some will be charged tax, some won't. So you might have to come in here and like change them, adjust them all here and then press save. Uh, another, any other good ones here. Inventory. So you can change the inventory here as well. There's another section to change inventory as well. Uh, track quantity. So someone might want to come in here and turn that off. If you want to adjust the weights, so what I always recommend, if you haven't done this, is when you add products, always add the weight. Even though sometimes if you're trying to do things fast and you just want to try to get some products up fast, you might even have free shipping on all your products uh, on your whole website. But I like to get on a good habit of adding the weight into the products because what if in a year from now, you've added 200 products, 2000 products, something like that. And you can't afford to do free shipping on all your products or there's some sort of issue like that. When you've been adding the products and you've been, you could have been weighing them and stuff and adding the weight in there. So if you ever change it in the future, it's going to be super easy. If you've got 2000 products and you decide you want to do free shipping over a hundred dollars, it's going to be a very daunting task to go back to 2000 products, weigh them all. Uh, you either not going to do it or you're going to put a guesstimation in there, stuff like that. So if you're, if you're doing it while you're adding the products, it's really good for the future as well. A lot of people don't think of the future and, and trust me, I've been doing this for uh, five years, building websites and I've run into so many people that never thought about the future and then they run into the issue in the future and it's a massive, 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 massive daunting task to fix stuff up. Uh, so that's why I try to add all the stuff uh, when you can. 
a quick little ninja hack that I used to do because my old website had 10,000 products. I made, I made this little printout that was the size of next to the like little pad thing on my laptop. And it said like tasks to make sure to do when adding products. And it's like add weight, whatever. So I would look at it. Oh, yeah, I have done all that sort of thing, especially if you're going to add products today and then you don't add any products for three months or six months, you're probably going to forget little things. Uh, so just having a little reminder there is a really good thing too. And then press save. <clears throat> so that's basically how you bulk edit stuff. How to bulk edit inventory is here as well. So if you go products and then inventory, it'll pull up all the products here and you can adjust like available on hand or different things like that here as well. So that might be another way you want to do all the inventory. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that helped. Like I said, if you want me to show you how to do the Excel file, let me know in the comments. If enough people want me to do that, I'll do that. And let me know what you think of this video if you liked it and follow along because I've made... 30, 40 videos now, releasing them day by day on how to update your Shopify website. And the comments you you guys and girls leave uh, really helps me to make the best content that is good for you and what you need. So at the end of it, you'll be able to build a pretty good, pretty decent Shopify website without doing any coding or anything like that. So until next time, have a good one and talk soon. Bye.